What's going on, everyone? My name is Andrew Beard with Ant Eater TV. And welcome to the apocalypse. There are hundreds of thousands of students that attend universities and colleges all throughout Southern California. And this week we've started to see the trickling effect, but today it has really hit. You see Irvine, where they're basically telling everyone to stay home. Again, finals will be taken uh, next week, but they will all be online. <laughs> So today we're asking the students of UCI about their opinions of the coronavirus. Is it just sensationalism media? Or do they think it's as big a deal as it really is? What do they think about taking their online classes for spring quarter as implemented by UCI? Let's go find out. So with spring quarter and UCI implementing a lot of their courses online, how do you feel about that? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just upset, you know, I'm sad. Like, I love it here, I wanna stay here, all my friends are here. Like, and I love, I learned so much better with in-person classes than online, so it will be a big adjustment for sure. For sure. I think it's cool that they're trying to be precautious, but I do, I mean, me personally, just because it's my last quarter, last quarter, it's a little sad just to like, not be able to experience like the on-campus life, especially for my last quarter, but I do understand the precautions and all the stuff that has to go on with it, so. I don't know what should I do, because we have the art class, you have to use the studio, so I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. How do you feel about taking your classes online in spring? It makes me sad. Why? Um, the college environment's gone. Uh, the experience is gone. I don't get to live on campus. I don't get to interact with people in real life. That's about it, yeah. Got it. How about you? Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Less banana. Personally, I don't like, I like the interaction with the teacher, mm -hmm. so I'm not so happy about it. But. So same question, do you think the coronavirus is as big a deal as they're making it out to be or is it overblown? I think the biggest fear is that uh, like how, how often it's spreading and how much is spread across the world. I feel like it's not as dangerous as like something like swine flu or Ebola, but obviously there's like a big panic and like it takes effect in every form. Like everyone's panicking and like school is now on online. Like, I don't know, it's kind of whack. Um, I think the media does have a big role in like making it a bigger um, thing that it actually is, but um, I think it's a big threat to um, older people and s children, um, and I think it's not as big of a threat to um, people our age. Um, according to social media, people are going back and forth with saying it's not a big deal, and it is a big deal, so I don't know who to choose, but since it's affecting me and my life, I'm just gonna say it's not that big of a deal just so things can work out my way. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know the honest answer for that one. Yeah, no, I don't think it's as big of a deal as everyone's making it out to be. Like, you know, as of right now, more people have died from the flu. Uh, I just, yeah, I think it's definitely an exaggeration of, yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's a big deal, but still, because we, a lot of people think it's like bad flu, which is not, because we have sort of like, I don't know, we don't think like this is serious, because we have like sort of like a small amount of people get like infection, so we don't take serious, but trust me, it's gonna spreading out, mm -hmm. just slowly by slowly. So it appears that there's a mixed bag of feelings about students wanting to take online classes and they're excited about it versus others not wanting to take online classes and are not really a fan of them. But either way, anteaters, we need to band together and stay safe against that coronavirus. It's all going to be okay. <coughs> See you next quarter. Zot, zot. <laughs>